guys and welcome. We have definitely things to catch on from Boy Love and Girl Love World Drama. I see renaming happened. Um, to be told, I came here first and foremost for uh, news about Finn, Becky and Ink Fine Charlotte since I didn't do the girls for quite some time. I see that a Muta uh, to are here too. Um, but let's start with the girls because I was like mentally prepared for this. So I wonder if there is any shift in case of uh, Billy Singh uh, and Finn Becky drama. And especially, uh, yeah, Finn Singh stuff as well. I have seen that Freen has a new partner for a movie or series on Twitter yesterday. Uh, I just saw it fleetingly, so I have only like bare minimum of knowledge in that department. Um, but, but, anything new about Freen and Becky? Because I haven't, I haven't seen or heard of them, but a few days ago. So, are Dream Girl Love and uh, the Freen Sing Scandal linked? Unveiling... Uh, the startling connections released three hours ago so let's dive hey guys welcome back to my video so today's video is about idol factory and oh. we are going to talk about their new series gl series dream i think it's called a marvelous dream of you or for you I think for you but if you just search on youtube Okay, I know that Idol Factory is uh, attempting to recreate the success with Freem Becky with other girl. It's like the, my knowledge, like that, there it ends. Um, by the way, I have as well watched the Sign series uh, where Freen appeared. Uh, her pirates are, are cute and there are definitely bright moments in, from that series. I um, I cannot say I was hyped about it that much, and it's maybe just me getting in my way because of uh, Billy Sink and I uh, loved them together. But still, like the, pro the project is interesting. Uh, Finn was mm, well there, and maybe I uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't really want to, but I, it would probably be more suitable for me to rewatch that uh, series again. But truly, I feel like at the beginning I had clear view where that series should go. It didn't go that way, and since then I kind of fell off from uh, from the hype. Not saying that it was bad. And now, Idol Factory. Wait a second. I, I've definitely seen something about Idol Factory doing girl love series. Uh, in that is not with Freem Becky, or they are at least not the mains. Uh, my marvelous dream is you. Okay, guys, are you watching it? Is it any good? Can you please tell me? As well, I feel... Mm, it's really pity, because, like, Idol Factory is doing really interesting, beautiful projects, and the projects with girls are usually different than the projects with guys. And the, the projects with guys are so much interesting. Maybe it would be better suited for Idol Factory to split and do like channels dedicate, like do two channels, one dedicating to girl uh, love stuff and one dedicated to boy love stuff, which is which is sad. Which is sad because I, um, of course, I found Idol Factory through Secret Crush on you, which you should know if you are if you know me. If not, then that's the case. And um, their actors participated on Worldwide, which would be Billy Sing in this case. And uh, I'm not sure, I believe they did the Gap the series and then the Sign. Uh, even the Sign is so interesting project, at least from the beginning. Uh, at least the synopsis and the, 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 the structure of it. And... I have like deep rooted my heart Idol Factory gave the series too with appearance of Billy Sink there. So doing it now is kind of painful decision. But 
if I watch their girl love projects, they are truly different from the boy love projects in terms of how usual or unusual they, they are. And I know that they want that success and money that comes with it, but like if they split it, I feel like they would do greater justice to both of both of those departments, not saying that they should not dedicate their efforts to both sides because both are like truly amazing branches, but separate one. Uh, because now I feel like this is a big, great mess. No one is anymore uh, associated Secret Crush on you with uh, Idol Factory. And that is because unlike GMMTV that has like formula and is sticking to that and their seats are just recognizable, uh, Idol Factory has a different style with every project. And if you have such a thing, Messing together the boy love and the girl love is just harmful to both of these branches, I feel. You have the right to disagree with me. You are wrong. Not gonna lie to you. But you have the right for sure. But like, truly... Mm, 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 mm. I need to check out the, the new girl love series though. To be 100% sure. But from what I am seeing so far... Yes, no, uh, it would... It would it would be better for the new girl love genre uh, actresses to do it like clear um, on, a, on a separate girl love genre dedicated channel. I don't know, I feel like it's a great disjustice towards this project because I nearly don't know it exists. And that's like it being on Idol Factory's channel, which is like a big channel. 2.4 million followers. But... So yeah, they have a new girl love genre series. Okay. To dream GL, like it will come or just to go to the YouTube channel of Idol Factory and you will see it. Now, I think a couple of months ago, last year, I did a video of like GLs that we should look forward in 2024. And I think I talked a little about dream GL, whereby I did think the synopsis was about a girl having a dream about another girl and then they meet in real life. Now, please, I really remember that. That's true, that's correct, we discussed it. Shocker, in 2024, to me, like the show is about a girl who already knows a girl who both their dads run together and is trying to protect the other person's dream from coming true. Uh, okay, so the concept, the whole concept uh, entirely changed. And do you see it having its own channel? Not the project itself, like all girl love genre series from Idol Factory. Idol Factory girl love, Idol Factory boy love, or Idol Factory and Idol Factory girl love, because that came second. No one would be as confused as we currently probably are. I am. I am not that Twitter girl. I don't care about Twitter at all. So all of the news comes later-ish to me. And only like... Mm, yeah, no. And, and... Uh, uh, <coughs> I'm sorry, guys. Um, Frame Becky made sense because they were part of the Boy Love genre series before. But what is this project? Why is it not being promoted and hyped properly? Why this... Even visually, it does not look that appealing to you? Why? Why? Is it like a poor sister to, to all of the previous projects? Or the other way around? And I just don't know? What is this? Or trying to help the, the other person achieve their dream. Now... I have not read the book, my Q. So I don't know what the book truly says. So if you've read the book, because I hear it's... Yeah, I haven't. Done. It's out. It's based on a book. So if you've read the book, please tell me the storyline in the book. Now, I feel like the storyline changed. And I've realized I'm not the only one who thinks that... The storyline is now based on the friend saying matter. We know friend and saying hasn't haven't been very clear 
about the situation that they're in they are in and okay i i i guess i get it now where this is going you know what it wouldn't surprise me at all but what my estimation was since beginning was that Friends Sang, okay, Sang's situation was kinda uh, depicted before in a War of Hawaii. Uh, the Billy Sang characters and the story they portrayed. I know it's boy love. I don't freaking care. The same counts. You have a channel, you have their boy love, girl love stuff together, messed, and every of those projects have an absolutely different vibe. People get confused. But I think they already did that, and maybe they are doing it again now, hopefully making a better job out of it. And I wouldn't be surprised, is what I want to say. I feel like this show is giving us kind of an insight on what their relationship is. So if you actually want to hear friends and sang speak, now these are my thoughts these are not might not be true but i feel like this story is trying to tell us something now we see that like there is matters of jesse jesse is a character who is i think is the evil one not she isn't the i think she is the evil one because she's called the b-word a couple of times during the first episode so jesse is like we, we see right off the bat she's questioned about her having like this huge career because her mother is an actress and we've seen the numerous numerous questions about like friends career being questioned because people said that the only reason that she has the popularity that she has now is because of saying and saint because they used to go i i guess to the same school and they are friends and she's dating saying so people were questioning that the career she has had until now is because of that now on the other hand we've also seen people question becky's career so because of the kind of life she has had so we also see that the one's life is also questioned because she comes from a rich family now but we are which i don't understand if you check out domundi boys there there are at least two guys i uh as i remember and know who are from absolutely rich families what's the problem what's the hit what's the deal here why it would be it different in case of 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 becky because if you take it i would say half of them have a uh, rich background and half of them don't are absolutely from poor families so what so it's exactly where we want it to be right both sides have equal opportunities where is the problem i'm going to focus more on the friend song because this is the reason why i'm doing this video now we see that kim who is in a relationship with the one like leaves her job as the one stylist and like decides to join jesse because jesse has a video of kim and the one getting intimate now she's trying to protect the one and for some reason the one feels like she can't like she can't have this huge career because of kim yes i do know like there are some stylists who are magical and powerful like roch no roch the one that zendaya has like zendaya is an amazing amazing actress but you also know her because of like the fashion that she brings but does the fashion actually help her getting roles acting roles yes kind of thinking of it now because if you are on the best dress every single time it means people are just for clarification i don't know her at all i don't even know how she looks like talking about you every single time which means you gain popularity which means people are eager to see what you do what you are in and people are following you so the engagements are high which leads to you booking movie roles so yes somehow it does affect like you getting the roles but it also depends on your talent if you actually can act if you actually can deliver now we see that she dis she decides to leave funny thing why did they call it mushroom entertainment because idol factor like you guys idol factor is lacking they might not be good at managing their own social media but they sure are good at lacking because they know 
Okay, they haven't yet figured out the social media. I was thinking halfway why I stopped doing reaction videos to uh, Freem Becky for quite, quite some time. It, it was kind of funny about the social media as an idol factory and them not being able to properly manage it, but once it seemed that they hired someone for it, as I remember it vaguely, it, it looked like we are not gonna need any sort of reactions to them anymore. And I was wrong. Fuck it. <laughs> no, at every single chance since the August first thing, people have been calling saying a mushroom. So, like, they I Oh, fucking hell. You mean that thing? Oh, shit. I remember. I was so much... If you do, did that, guys, I was so much gossiping about you. So much. And so ferociously about how unproper behavior that one was. A mushroom. So, like, they, I feel like they have been laughing at us and saying, okay, they've given us this content. Write this down, write this down. And I feel like probably this whole show was changed to, like, the friends saying fiasco so that people could watch it more. They wanted... I mean... You know, like strategically, it's a good plan. Project-wise, it's a very, very bad plan. Because people were prepared and wanted to see a series with uh, uh, basically the, the initial concept. A girl who does not know a girl and he's dreaming about her and then like, I don't know, whatever, chasing after her, for example. Or protecting her or whatever, like whatever, whatever, really whatever. But like, if you change it, just... Uh, and and you are your basis is the moods on Twitter. Uh, it would definitely explain why this project looks way cheaper than Gap Design or uh, Secret Crush on you looked like, because the, 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 you can create it, but you need to create it specifically to grasp the shifts of moods and uh, opinions of people and how the tide changes. Um, uh, I, I mean, it's not very strategic because you are messing with the initial good idea of a project and you are creating it on uh, just putting a prank on people. But you know, I don't care. I don't care who is fiend dating, who is Becky dating. I don't care if they are together, if not. I don't care who is sending dating. I don't care about their background. I don't freaking care. What I care for and what I came for here are those projects. And you are saying me that instead of creating a project for me, you are creating a mess and making fun out of people who did that uh, havoc back then so this is not even a pro project taken seriously it, it's not gonna very much appear appeal to me as many people came new and don't know about the situation and for those who didn't care in the first place like what to use this whole scandal to their advantage Th that is my thought but i'm still ready to be like convinced that that is exactly what the book says because again i haven't read the novel now they were calling it mushroom entertainment and i laughed like I, I was in tears i was like okay idol factory so this whole thing is a joke to you okay okay and i was in tears now that's not like a joke a prank on fans but if those are like people who were just obsessed with um, messing with people's lives. It's not really funny. Especially if there was a loss um, or like, yeah, like loss uh, repercussions for what happened. It's really not funny. It's, it's, it's just not. I'm sorry, but not. But like, if it was a joke between um, Idol Factory and fans of their artists, I would take it graciously. I cannot as it is, I cannot as it was, because it was very, very, very nasty. Well, like, I feel like they, by Kim leaving, I feel like it's probably the story of Seng leaving Idol Factory, because Seng had no business leaving Idol Factory. He was one of the co-founders, allegedly, and he was in a pretty huge ship. Like, can you believe if Seng was still part of Billy Seng right now, with the sign, like, he would have been huge. Yeah, yeah, I agree, I agree. But, but I as well understand for how Idol Factory is and how um, he, they are about the artists. I understand him wanting to leave. I understand him wanting to protect himself or Freen or Freen and Becky couple or uh, I don't know, whatever. I, I, I can't really, I can understand. I can even relate. <sighs> I 
they were big. If they reconnect, they are gonna, gonna be big. Their fan base is big. The, the, the thing that many people didn't come to terms with them never ever doing projects together, the thing that they believe that their projects are gonna be in the future, the thing that their projects only consisted of four projects maybe, three of them being of, or two of them being of, okay, uh, two of them being ha deeply rooted in boy love genre, uh, one of them being uh, just like appearance, and one of them being probably not even a boy love genre, so to speak, but like still them being together doing good stuff. I mean, they were big. They were really, 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 really big, and they were very cute, and they were very masculine, and they were very everything that we missed in, among all of those couples. And then something went wrong. But he decided to sacrifice his whole career for her. That means, like, he's in love. In I mean, or for himself. Or for himself. In love. Like, he had to take a thousand steps back. And that's not me lying. Like, people hardly now know of saying as one of, like, the real actors. Like, he has been, he has gone a step down. No, he wasn't in the A list group. But at least he was in the B group. And now I feel like he's going to be in the C group because again he's acting with very new actors and don't tell me that Best is not a new actor because we know that his last BL was kind of a flop. No kidding. Because as much as people said that it was good but not a lot of people can even mention that BL series as even their top 20 and that just says a lot. Okay, I didn't get that part. Never mind. Um... We need to con uh, we need to take into consideration one thing too. Uh, Seng was a traveling actor since the beginning, and him changing uh, changing um, companies is not that big of a surprise in the light of him changing it already multiple times before he landed in Idol Factory, and and that's it basically. Like b b he can be a freelancer. He can be under a company, like he has the right. So, like, what, what do you, what do you want to do with that? You cannot tie him somewhere. Like the contract can, though, but like you know, and what would be it good for? <sighs> Let me just say they're top fifteen, and that just is a lot. So he isn't even in the B list. He's in the C list right now, and from the secrets. The secret what? Secret SOC? The secret crush? Secret, like... Secret crush on you? The BL that Billy and Seng were from. I... <laughs> yeah, seriously. Come on, if you want to speak about something, you should already know the names at least. Come on. And why the series? Like, I knew of Billy and Seng from why the series. I hadn't watched Secret Crush. So when I saw it... Okay. Like, I decided to see if they have done any other work together, and I found The Secret Crush. So and then I watched it, and it was, like, very good. Like, Seng really pushed himself. Like, thank you. Thank you. Uh, I would say that in uh, War of Why, they um, pushed it to brilliance. Their, the way Billy acted there, the way that Seng acted there, that's, like, the top. That's the peak. Secret Crush on you was, should have been just beginning, but, like, sh like skyrocketing them shooting them up there and it was it is big like mm, as i mentioned it multiple times when i first saw it i didn't get it like fully because i was absolutely not in the mood because of real life situation but uh i rewatched it i rewatched it even two times maybe which i don't really do frequently i've done it like if, if we speak strictly about boy love girl love genre um audiovisual projects i did it maybe for three i intend to do it for maybe four more and it's like it and i have uh, seen like ha like hundreds of these projects uh so no i don't usually rewatch stuff but in case of Secret Crush, I needed it first because of my situation second because i wanted to spur like because I knew they were good, but I just didn't get how brilliant that project is. Not only their acting, but like really the project itself. How they fought things through in Idol Factory. And that they did. 
but in terms of story, the, the, the thing that you want to call drama just because it is dramatic, it is taken seriously, and you can feel the, 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 the heart pulsing underneath, you can feel the blood dripping out of it, that's the, the first story of uh, World of Why. That's the main couple that is sank there. That's why people were so obsessed at the beginning with World of Why. That's that's it. That's the core. That's the, that's the main message. That's the if you don't see anything else from it, which would be pity though, because I like that series. But like, if you don't see anything else from else from this, then the Billy Sang story is worth it. And I believe like most of the reviews I have seen and read praised the first story. Unfortunately, the other ones, mainly probably one or two of those stories, dragged it down. Significant notch, but like they were like seven point eight at least. And that's even underrated, because um, the their style, it's way higher than that. For some reason, it's not being rated like that, but it's it's there. It's like eight point something. So, Billy Sang, and their, like, you cannot say that their projects aren't good. You cannot say that Idol, uh, Idol Factory's projects are bad or are not exciting or are not hyping or are not, are not hot. They very much are. They have their style. But, and it has its place, right, in the industry. I was impressed and I wanted to see more because how he was... There is not much more though. Like there, there is World of Wide, there is one with something about singing, there is the Secret Crush on You, which was like first. And then there was the appearance in uh, Gap the Series first episode. And that's like it, that's their career together. Because like before Sing had uh, some other roles, Billy... I believe not so many, but as well, maybe, I'm not sure, in case of Billy. But Sang did. And uh, it was nowhere near where um, they were with Billy together. Was on The Secret Crush. But, 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 if you are watching my reaction, please check out first, like, it's four episodes for World of Life first, uh, first uh, story. It's four episodes, which is like four hours, or... Five, maybe six. Check check that one out. I believe you will be impressed if you were with Secret Crush. Secret Crush is more like funny stuff. Uh, World of Why is more like serious stuff. And I believe that is the story about uh, Free and Sang too. The how things are going, like you know, like projected to boil up, but it's their story. It's not. It's it's like. You look like with stories, they are general, they are they are universal. It does not matter who is of what orientation, who is what gender there. What matters is the story, and the story is very suspiciously so similar to what happened uh, to Finn Sang around that scandal. Was definitely different from why the series, and I said, "Wow, this actor has range." Yes. And I loved it. I wanted to see more from him. Yes. Now. I was a little disappointed that he left, especially with such an amazing project as the sign on the wax. Like, uh, ooh. I mean, because, like, it's very... Babies... Mm, you know, it usually is like that. If you have a ship and it mm, falls apart, the actress split, it's very difficult to be on the position of... Because there, there was already a fan base for them. People were obsessed with them. Coming after replacing someone is very difficult, and I'm very um, like I'm grateful for the people who supported Babe at the beginnings, especially uh, because it's not truly only about the actress. And here it proved it's not that the the actors Billy Sang are so skillful. Idol Factory is gr great in creating good acting couples. That's like what I'm stressing here all the time. They are great in creating acting couples. What they did with Billy Sang, they did with Babe and Billy. And they, again, like the, the, the what we call chemistry, the one that can be uh, improved with training, it was provided to us with in case of a Billy Babe. And me falling from that series specifically was not due to uh, 
how they uh, portrayed that role, or uh, did it was anything wrong in that in that ship itself, in that couple in the the couple on screen. Uh, that were not mind problems. I mean, I I liked what uh, Idol Factory was able to present again. So don't find the blame there, please. Uh, but I'm 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 positive if it was like Billy saying, I would watch it through the whole series without skipping, without uh, speeding it up, without uh, falling from that series, just because it was like Billy saying. I was already rarely so, but I was already kind of involved in what they um, created on screen. Uh, Matt James, Pete Ford, uh, Billy Sank. And then, like, I would have to hard very... I would have to think very carefully about... Because then, the other couples, it's more about the project than uh, Jung Dang. It's more about the projects than uh, me falling for the chemistry between these actors. Uh, Max Snuff maybe, but even that is questionable. Maybe it's more about the projects again. But for me, it's important. For me, it's important first and foremost the project, and then um, maybe how they are in real life or how chemistry they have, what kind type of chemistry they have if they are not portraying characters on screen. So like Jung Dang, of course, Billy Sang, yeah, um, and 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 then. That's the. Worst move he has he ever made in his life, and I feel like every single day he sees how much the sign is talked about as a show. I do not Billy, not Billy Babe. Uh, no, still, I have a falling apart from the sign. I, I'm sorry, no, but the sign, how huge it was as a project, how amazing it was. A huge project, it was uh, well through, well fought, like fought through, yes. As a project, like I feel like he regrets it. Indri the, 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 the part of it, how interesting project that was, that they nailed Idol Factory. I mean, every single time. Now, now Kim, leaving. But I believe the situation was as such that he couldn't bear it anymore, so he left rather, and he's not regretting it specifically. Like he is very much probably oriented on his career, so what he cares about is his successful project, and the, like what what would it bring to him to be regretting not being part of a project that was successful. He was a successful project. The successful, very much highly successful project where Secret Crush on you and War of Why the first, uh, sorry. That's it. The one. And I believe one uh, series that he was portraying without Billy before. Those three. I feel like it's the I mean, same it's as I mean, I mean, I mean that that's already like consisting of successful actor. He, he was successful already. Like if he left now, he was successful. Thing leaving Idol Factory because probably they thought them being in the same agency would make them like get caught quickly because you can't hide love. Like you can't hide hearing about someone. Like you are bound to make a mistake, especially when you see the way Idol Factory like they spend spend a lot of time together. And we did see the way Billy sang and Friend and Becky spent a lot a lot of time. And now we don't see Billy Babe and. Not Billy saying and friend Becky spend a lot, a lot of time. Now we don't see Billy, Babe, and friend Becky spending a lot, a lot of time because again they have, I think not. I think they have different working schedules. Interesting. It's because we know now I the didn't know that. sign is over and Billy and Babe are very, very like busy promoting it, and friend mm -hmm. and Becky are busy producing their own shows. Now I'm waiting to see if after like they're both after friend and Becky are done. I'm hoping to see if they will spend a lot of time with Billy, Babe because again I know they will be wanting to as Idol Factory they will want to ride on the fame of Billy. Babe and putting them together with, will actually make people who watch the BL maybe watch the GL so that like they can win win on both sides. Now, I, again, I have talked about the illegal recording and it shows how it affects like both people. It affects the one, it affects Kim, and how it affects like the whole relationship. And we also see that they are telling like Kim the whole reason she left the one was because also Kim the one had a partner, an on screen partner, and they didn't she didn't want to ruin that like that ship and to make fans like hate on. On the one or the one having to break off that ship. Now it's the same as friend and Becky. Now I'm waiting to see whether the on-screen partner of the one knows, gets to know about the video and how 
he will act because that will be very very telling now i'm very intrigued about this whole project and i can't wait to watch it and i will be watching it every single day every single hour it drops because i'm curious and i'm checking notes idol factory and i say a win is a win a win is a win so thank you guys for watching so if you haven't subscribed subscribe turn on the post notification give me a thumbs up if you like this video share this video and comment on whether you think that this whole show is about the friends and relationship too and if you are actually like looking forward to see what comes in the next episode because it is very interesting and let me give like the one all her praises like she's doing right i don't know is this her first project let me know in the comment section but her acting is actually very good her acting is actually i believe still it's the same i believe it's how idol factory managed to prepare their actress they are brilliant in that creating a mystery they are brilliant in really very uh interesting unseen unheard of type of projects too brilliant in that good so yeah so let me know in the comment section. Bye okay. guys. Uh if Boy Love and Girl Love of All World Drama states that this series of Idol Factory New is interesting, I might peek at that. Uh as it is, I don't find it as pleasing as it should be for me starting watching it. Uh I'm not gonna lie about it. As well, I believe it's gonna be way more normalized as was Gap the series in comparison to their very interesting uh experimental type of projects with uh boy love uh boy love themes. Uh but still I I insist on them splitting and dividing the department of boy love and girl love uh, projects because it's harmful. Harmful to the projects, the new ones, the more normalized ones that are coming out of their uh, productions uh, or production because you like when you think Idol Factory or when at least I had it that way before you were thinking Secret Crush on you. Experimental boy love genre uh, with a lot of um, like they were able to see things through a uh, third perspective through, uh, uh, through an ankle uh, angle that uh, was not so frequent before and they could make fun out of things which seems to be the case still uh, in case of a sign they have they had very interesting concept actors uh, acting and uh, they mix two things I didn't like together that much but still you need to give praise because it was again experimental based on ke uh, chem characters chemistries and um it had this potential to drag people uh to, to like for it to be interesting and that interestingness brought people in while in case of gap they're like they're so completely different but still the rules are there Finn and becky are from secret crush on you people found the girls there and thanks to the the, the, the the attention they caught, Gap the Series could have uh, be created. But this project is with new actresses. I don't know, <laughs> didn't heard of, and I'm not truly even interested in. But if I knew Secret Crush on you was from this, I wouldn't connect it with this new project. I don't nearly know about this project. If I was not reacting to a boy love a world drama, which was how the channel was named before, I wouldn't, I wouldn't know. Which is pity. If you are searching for something, you should know where to search for it. In case this is girl love stuff. <sighs> okay guys, how do you see things? Uh, how do you perceive them? I'm gonna uh, put on this uh, video a fancy name. I hope we will see each other again soon because I have still things I want to react to from this channel as well from others. So enjoy uh check out uh war, um, war of why if you haven't seen that one yet at least the billy sang parts and have a great day for now bye bye